my name is Joshua Daniels. I am one of the senior site managers working at Gasco and West Phase One in Barking. Um, and this project is for Be First, our client. So as we now are approaching September, which is the, the start of the new school year, uh, we get to look forward to inviting back the college students and the school students that have done the initial visits with us um, last year. Um, so it's, it's going to be exciting to sort of plan them in over the next few months and also the work experience um, and the uh, apprenticeships that are going to be working on site with the trade. So it's going to be an exciting year to look ahead. Um, so we want to try and make sure everyone's up to speed of where we've been and, and where we're going. So uh, the other thing to say is where we haven't had any visits over the last few months, I must say it has been one of the hardest few months I personally have had to work through. So with all of us changing our way of life, working through this pandemic, um, we've had to change our daily activities. So we've had to implement the government guidelines that have been updated us to us once a month um, for our, our own company policies, which has been brilliant. Um, and then we've had to go above and beyond all of that just to ensure the safety of ourselves, uh, the safety of our workforce, and the, supply, uh, the safety of our supply chain uh, and those wider options as well. Um, and most importantly, the, uh, the local community that are working around. So we've actually been trying to do a, a monthly food collection. We have 110 operatives on site nearly every day. Um, so we've been trying to contribute to that food bank in Barking just to ensure that at the minute, this is one of the toughest times for them um, and they, they need help more, now more than ever. So we're trying to do the best we can. Um, and I feel like we've now got a, a safe working environment on site to start welcoming everyone back um, and to get ready for this exciting year ahead. So um, we're gonna start going through the tour. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll read through it while we're on site and I'll see you then. Hello everyone. So we're in a safe zone at the minute. So we're around no one else. So I can take my mask off so I can hear me talk. So as you can see, we are currently at level two. This is where I started my first video tour um, where we're still doing below ground um, foundations. So we've come a long way in the last few months. Um, that's block A in the background and block B in the middle, and now we're at block C. So if I uh, turn the camera around, I'll show you the ground floor slab being formed. So you can see here, this is the reinforcement. We've had half this section complete, and then this reinforcement will then continue over to the far end of the slab. Um, so we're gonna be looking to pour this in the next few days once the reinforcement is 100% complete. So I'll show you, these are the column start bars getting ready so we continue up. Um, those are some of the other columns that are currently being shuttered up so we can pour them and we'll have the vertical columns being done in the next few days. This is the reinforcement here. And you can see we use the shutters and then the, the same spacer wheels to ensure we've got cover on all the concrete all the way around. Um, you can see here, down the side, these are some of the shear links being installed here. Um, and importantly, this is the balcony brackets. So you can see here, the balcony brackets, the bracket would stick on here and the balcony at a later date is gonna get bolted on with the tower crane as we go up. So you can see here, the reinforcement that goes in through the frame. So quite important to have all of this cast in before to give it the full strength. So you can see as we walk along, to the reinforcement we also have the casting collars and these are fire protection collars and then after we're done it means that we'll be able to put the svps the soil and vent pipes down through instead of a casting drilling a hole through the slab it's already there in place so perfect to have all this in place so as you can see this is the core being installed which is the front of the lift shaft um, and then the staircase and the lobby. So this is the jump form. So explain a little bit about this. The jump system we're using is a peri jump system and it provides us a working platform at every level. So if you look at it, you can see that there's anchors already tied in. And then again, there's another anchor that tied in the high level. So these platforms, there's individual platforms. You've got one, two, three, four, and then five, six, seven, eight, all the way around. So what happens is the platforms get lifted by the tower crane, one at a time, into position. And as they go, they tie on to the anchors 
and that creates its own working platform so people can stand on and work from. And you might just be able to see at a higher level, we're gonna have the new wall system shuttered in place and the reinforcement gets lifted up so we can create it. So I'll take you up there now inside the jump form um, and we have to ensure that everything's tethered. So my phone's actually tethered at the minute. My hard hat is clipped on and also my glasses as well. Just to ensure that when you're working at height, nothing can fall down, including tools and equipment. So as we go up, let me uh, stop the video and I'll climb up the ladder access. I've just come up the ladder access into the core in uh, block C. So we're currently on the jump platform um, and this is going to be ready to start forming the walls from level three to level four. So you can see here, this is the core wall that we see below, but this is the top of it. And then we pour this whole section in one and that's what gives the core the strength because it all is poured together. There's no joints in the wall. Um, so you can see the reinforcement. This is just temporary protection to stop anyone falling on your engine themselves. Um, and then the vertical walls, the reinforcement that get built up onto that. And then when we're ready, these shutter system here, this is on track, so it pulls forward and closes up that gap. And then we do the same thing. We lift the other shutters in place this side. And so we've closed up and sandwiched the reinforcement between with the, uh, the gap. So then we can pour the, pour the whole walls at once. So you can see here, as I'm walking around, there's like a, a nice safe access all the way around. These here, they provide the, the, the sort of leading edge protection. And you can see here, this is the frame. And when it slides forward, we'll have more access around this side as well. So you have working room. Um, so up here at the minute, you can see there's a fire point. We have first aid kit, just to give us that, um, its own working platform up here while we go up the core. So you can see there, we're gonna start going down now and I'm gonna go across to block B and block A, um, just so I can show you some more of the force work in there. Okay, so now we are at block B and I'm gonna show you some of the uh, Perry jump platforms that are being made on the, on the slab, on the ground floor, and then they get lifted into place. So you can see here, we lay them down um, and put the fixings together, ply them up as much as we can on the ground floor. Um, and once we have the measurements right and they're all in place and they're structurally sound, we then get lifted up onto the core walls and then anchored into place. So you can see here again, this is the Perry jump system being fitted on to the anchors themselves. And then the walls come down and it's supporting itself with the brackets and spanning between. So very important to make sure you, you understand the temporary works drawings as well as the structural drawings because all the Perry system, it applies more loads onto the frame itself. So not only have you have to think about as a structural engineer, the, the weight that happened onto the frame itself with the rebar and the concrete, as well as all the live loads of when people move in, you've got the, the, the weight of the bodies, you have the weight of the furniture. Um, but when we're doing construction, we have to think of the weight of the temporary platform that's on itself. So in many cases, we've had to increase the thickness of the reinforcement still, just to ensure that we've got a safety factor of why we're building this. Um, and that's also important to get it checked from the temporary works coordinator, the engineer, as well as the structural engineer of the scheme. So we normally have a lot of workshops just to ensure that all these are thought about um, and undertaken at early stages before the, the construction even starts on site. Um, so just, we're gonna carry on doing block B, but this section of slab still needs to be done. And you can see here, we're just installing the drainage, just getting them in position. The engineers lining them up just so that them stacks then obviously carry up through the building itself. So once we've got this ground floor slab complete, that means we've then complete all the ground floor slabs on block A, B and C. So now I'm just gonna carry on walking over to block A where we're more advanced than all the other blocks. So we're just walking over to block A and I thought I'd show you some of the, uh, the temporary canty decks that we have in place for loading and offloading materials on slabs. So if you check out over here, so this is block A, um, and you can see the canty deck we have is what counts class as a cantilever deck. The beam supports go inside the building and they're propped off the slab. Um, and that allows us to be able to pull this out on a wheeled system 
in and out of the building so the tower crane can lift the materials on and they get taken in on a slab and then we can have these every single level pull them in so the other one can drop down um, so they're a really good tool to have for clearing materials off to help us build the frame um, and you can see here what level we're at so you've got ground floor and you've got level one level two level three level four level five and at the minute the Jerry the Perry jump system is at level six um, and that's going to be used to do the core wall so we're going to go up and I'm going to show you the back propping system we have supporting the slab um, and just give you a little bit more detailed explanation of the the gas propping system we have there so we just made it now to the top of block a um, this is where we're more advanced and you can see here the slab is really up close to the peri jump system again we have the same details and um, we have a lot more of the shear links that are around the columns and this gives it strength onto the slab the connection on um, so you can see here below me now this is the decking um, and this is the gas system so as we go down the hacky i'm going to take you downstairs and show you what supports this temporary platform so you can see here we have the uh, the top primaries and we have the secondary beams that hold the floor in place so you can see this all the way along and then these support systems on the gas props that we're using here we have the plywood i was just standing on that supports the reinforcement above then you have these primary beams that go along and support all of that all the way along and that's what gives you the strength and then we have the secondary beams that go in between that um, and then all that load is transferred down onto this slab um, and then we also have back propping below that just to support the slab until the concrete is at full strength and the concrete can take up to 28 days to reach that full strength so as we go out a little bit more into the slab at level four block a you'll see that some of this system is being still built so you can see here this is the standard we have here brace this in place and then the decking is then going to be continued over and they line up with the top of the columns so all the columns will then be tied in together with the top of the slab and that's what gives us the tie into the top of the slab to the column and our whole frame works together in that way so this is why we have to come and do the checks so no one would be allowed to carry on doing the working platform uh, until we're safe so we have a lot of checks in place um, and also you can see here this is where we have them where the slab ties in to the core walls itself and then because the slab ties into the core wall that's what gives the whole frame its strength so very important to have um, and you can also see the rest of the uh, development over the far side um, and then hopefully when we have the site tours it means we'll be able to bring block b a lot further up as well as block c which is our tallest block that's going to go up to 12 stories high all the way at the back so we still have a long way to go um, on this very exciting scheme um, so we'll hopefully you get to join us again soon um, and it'll be the real tours going on so we get to have a lot more hands-on experience and you get to feel and see the materials a real life for yourself so i'm just going to go off now um, and uh, if there's any questions anything you need to know um, you have our email addresses as well um, just and we are still going to be doing the questions and answers so i hope i've tried to cover all the uh, the information that we've been asked to do um, if there's anything else again just please let us know and we can try and pick this up as we do the questions and answers or on the next video so thank you very much and uh, i'll see you soon